Let's make a sushi feast. Somebody on TikTok tagged me to recreate this. Let's go. First, let's make the tamagoyaki. It's a sweet Japanese omelette. Next, salmon. Then we have the chutoro and the otoro. Just look how fatty this is. For the gunkan pieces, we have the ikura and the uni. I'm going to start with the dry ingredients first. So let's start with the tamagoyaki, slice it into thin strips. Next for the salmon, first I'm going to cut into a long thin strip for hosomaki and then thin slices for nigiri sushi. Next, let's process the chutoro, thin slices again. Then finally, the otoro. I have to work fast because it's literally melting in my hands right now. Let's get everything to the board. Nice. Let's start with the tamagoyaki, 15 grams of rice, and we're going to tie it with a nori band. Next, the shrimp, a dab of wasabi, squeeze, rotate, squeeze. Then we'll do the same for all the others. I'm making two salmon pieces because there was no yellowtail. Okay, now that the nigiri pieces are done, we're going to move on to the hosomaki. Onori spread the rice and put the salmon strip in, roll it tight, and cut it into six pieces. Alright, for the final elements, we're going to make the gunkan. I'm making these last because they can get sagi. First one gets a healthy dose of ikura. With a leftover otoro, I made a spicy tuna mix with grunions. I'm adding a splash of acid. Spicy, rich, delicious. The final piece will get uni. Alright, now all we have to do is match it to look like the photo. I forgot to put ikura in one of the salmon pieces, but don't worry, I'll do that while I'm eating. Finally, some pickled ginger for garnish. Let's feast! Thank you so much for sticking with me until here. The rest of the video will just be me eating and mm -hmm. kind of a mukbang style. If you're too busy to watch it, it's just Spicy mainly me enjoying cuisine. the platter and how much I enjoy sushi um, as a cuisine. It is very versatile and there's so many different flavors that you can bring out. Next, and at home. Thanks for watching. Hmm. I'm eating with the kunkan first because it absorbs the moisture and you can see the seaweed can get a little leathery. Mm. A little ginger to cleanse the palate. Let's try the chutoro, medium fatty tuna. Mm-hmm. Smooth, buttery. Let's try the salmon next. Mm. That one is always so good. I realized I forgot the ikura on the salmon. I'll be right back. The hamachi was so step ikura on it, so I want to fix that issue. Please, right. Mm -hmm. Absolutely fine substitute. All right. Now the king of it all, the otoro, the fattiest part of the tuna. That is so rich. Just melts in your mouth. I think that one might be actually a little bit better torched, but it's personal preference. Let's try the shrimp. And yes, you know, you're not supposed to dip the rice, but that's what I do. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's very standard shrimp. Let's try tosomaki. Yeah. 
That's great. Last, this is the last nigiri piece. The tamago is a little bit sweet, so I like to kind of leave that as a dessert. All right. Last toro. Melt in your mouth. Because it's so oily, I have to cleanse the palate. Yeah. I was like doing that. Did I have a show a close up? Let's see. I know I was in a rush, but I actually did end up rolling this pretty well. Only problem is that. I probably ate about a cup of a cup and a half of rice, so this might be my one meal for the day. Probably should have had a drink. Here it is, the final piece, tamagoyaki. Mm. Mm-hmm. Nice and sweet. I don't want to waste this. I'll just finish this and I'll leave the camera.